Hi, I'm Aimon, and welcome back to another uh, Pokemon Go video. And in this video, I'll be evolving the Pokemon that are common, but a bit less common, if you can get my gist. And these Pokemon are Venonat, Zubat, Spearow, and Oddish. So, let's get right into it. Okay. So... Like, um, we're not going to be talking much about CP and IV here. I mean, IV here. Um, wait, what the? Oh, oh, we encountered a Pokemon. Huh. Let me catch that Pokemon. Stop. <laughs> this would be a great one to fast forward. <laughs> we caught him on the first try. But anyway... <laughs> Let's get to the actual evolving the Pokemon. So, let's evolve from the first uh, Pokedex entry, which is Spearow. And we have 296 Spearow candies, and it costs 50 candies to evolve him. So, we have enough to evolve him. He's at 406 CP, and he's at a good CP amount to evolve, so let's do it. Evolve. And when you evolve Spiro, he turns into Firo. Okay, so that Firo was 1,077, and it evolved from a 400 Firo. So that's pretty good. That's 2.5. Um, next we have, um, Zubat. So, Zubat, he takes 50 candies to evolve, and he, we have 230 Zubat candies. And I think this one is less common than, you know, Pidgey, because I only see, like, three, two, two or three of these an hour. I see, like, five or six Pidgeys an hour, so, you know, I see a difference. So, so let's evolve him. Zubat, 363 Zubat turns into a... I would say 800 Golbat, probably. Yeah, it evolves into a Golbat. It's just, a Golbat is just a Zubat with a big mouth. That was, wow, that was 1,091. That was a CP 1,091. It was 393, and it went to 1,091. That's also a 2.5 multiplier. Um, close to 2.5. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, and it seems like all the Pokemon we're evolving are going past 1,000s. But now, we're going to move on to Oddish. Now, Oddish, this time he has three stages of evolution, which is Oddish, Gloom, and Vile Plume. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So we have a 688 Oddish. So, um... So the file got corrupted, and there, there was all this technical difficulties. It was like a very long and hard process. Um, but there wasn't. So basically, there was an interruption. But um, we're gonna get right back into it. Um, don't want you to worry about that. Um, so anyway, where we left off is that we're gonna evolve this Oddish, which is six hundred eighty-eight. We have two hundred fifty-eight Oddish candies, and um, if we evolve him with twenty-five candies. We get Gloom. And Gloom looks like, um... Hmm. Huh. I, actually, I forgot what Gloom was based off of. But, um... He has these... Puffed head on top of him. He looks like a person who has the hair after going to sleep. What? <laughs> um, but anyway... After we evolve the 488 Gloom, I mean Oddish, we got a CP1041 Gloom, which is pretty good. That's 2.5 again. Or 2.25, probably. Yeah. And that's pretty good. So, when we evolve Gloom uh, to Vile Plume, which um, costs 100 candies, let's see how that works. He, he, he jewels while he evolves. And, um, Vileplume is, like, 
based off that very smelly flower. Um, I've, I'm sure you guys have seen it in the news, probably. Oh, and it's been registered to the Pokédex. Um, Vile Plume. And it's a 1567. That's pretty cool. Uh, now we're going to move on to the last one, which is Venonat, who evolves into Venom off, as you can see on the screen. So we have a 625 Venonat. Let's evolve him to Venom off using 50 Venonat candies. We have 197 currently, so it's going to be 147. All the Pokemon roar when they evolve. There's my feet. Um, so the the Venomoth uh, that 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 cut off a bit. Uh, the Venomoth it um evolved into a one oh one thousand one hundred and seventy eight uh Venomoth. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, but it went from six hundred to. 1,100, so that's about a two times, a bit under two times, but that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Had a low IV though. So, to finish this video off, I'm going to be reading their Pokédex entries. Um, okay, let's start with, let's start with Spearow. Spearow is 21, uh, his type is Normal Fly, and he's a tiny bird Pokémon. Spearow has a very loud cry that can be heard over half a mile away. If it's high, Keenan cry is heard echoing all around. It is a sign that they are warning each other of danger. So, pretty good, pretty good. Firo is 23, 22. He's a normal flying type. He's the, he's the beak Pokemon. Firo is recognized by its long neck and elongated beak. They are con conveniently shaped for catching prey in soil or water. It definitely moves its long and skinny beak to pluck prey. So, a very smart Pokemon, using its beak to its advantage. So now let's move on to... Zubat, yeah. Uh, Zubat is a poison flying type and he's 41 in the Pokédex. He's the bat Pokemon. Zubat remains quietly unmoving in a dark spot during the bright daylight hours. It does so because prolonged exposure to the sun causes its body to become slightly burned. So, it's a vampire. Um, now we go to Golbat. He's 42. And he's poison flying bat Pokemon, just like Zubat. But he has a bigger mouth. Uh, Golbat loves to drink the blood of living things, like a vampire. If you haven't gotten in it already. It is particularly active in the pitch black of night. This Pokemon f uh, flits, flits, flits around in the night skies, uh, seeking fresh blood. I think it means flies, but um, you can see it right there. Um, anyway, uh, regarding that grammar mistake, let's move on to Oddish. Anyway, there was an interruption, but let's get back. So, Oddish is 43 in the Pokédex. Um, he's Grass Poison, and he's called the Weed Pokémon. Hey. During the daytime, Oddish buries itself in soil to absorb nutrients from the ground using its entire body. The more fertile the soil, the glossier its leaves become. Okay. So, he's a radish. He's an odd radish, I guess. Um... Gloom. Uh, he's 44 in the Pokédex, and he's Grass Poison type. He's also a weed Pokémon. <laughs> Gloom releases a foul fragrance from the pistil of its his pistil of its flower. When faced with danger, the stench worsens. If this Pokémon is feeling calm and secure, it does not release its usual stinky aroma. Now. We go to Vile Plume. <laughs> Vile Plume is 45th in the Pokédex. Um, he's Grass and Poison, and he's a flower Pokémon, based off that stinky flower I just mentioned before. Vile Plume's toxic pollen triggers atrocious allergy attacks. 
That's why it's advisable never to approach any attractive flowers in a jungle, however pretty they may be, just like in the real life flower. Um, next, we're going to, in the final one, we're going to Venonat and Venomoth. Venonat is 48 in the Pokédex. He is bug and poison. He's the insect Pokémon. Venonat is said to have evolved with a coat. Wait, what? Venonat is said to have evolved with a coat of thin, stiff hair that cover covers its entire body for protection. It possesses large eyes that never fail to spot even minuscule prey. Nice. Nice, nice. And apparently, it's not just Pokemon evolution to higher stages. It's Pokemon evolution from, like, a fish to a human. Wow, that's that's actually cool. That gives us a bit of depth into Pokemon history. That's nice. Pokemon science. Nice. But anyway, finally, Venomoth is 49 in the Pokédex. He is a bug poison, poison moth Pokemon. Nice. Venomoth is nocturnal. It is a Pokemon that only becomes active at night. It, its favorite prey are small insects that gather around streetlights, attracted by the light in the darkness, so just like a real moth. And a lot of these Pokemon are based off actual po or like real-life um, animals, like uh, bats, Zubats based off bats, like um, Spearows based off Spearows, uh, just one more, rat Rattata is based off rats, and eradicate is based off shoes. But anyway, um, I guess we're going to leave the video off on here. Um, I'm Aiman, and thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Aiman, especially the Pokemon Go ones. Um, so, I'm Pokemon Master Aiman, signing out. Peace. <laughs>